we have a very serious hazmat nuclear waste situation in Montana. I went to the official Montana State Road Incidents Report website and they're hiding this. Probably because they're partly to blame. I could not find any videos or pictures of the scene. Two men died after a truck hauling radioactive materials collides with an oncoming train in eastern Montana. The collision occurred on road 1013 and US Highway 2 east in Roosevelt County on Saturday around 5.15 p.m. Now you see this road here, this is Highway 2. They make this left turn onto road 1013. The train likely was heading westward and they were heading southward because the nuclear waste filters end up being dumped near this creek here. This is how I found it. This is a pretty good website if you want to get any notifications from a website. I like to use them because it's called the RSO EDIS. Well, otherwise, I would have had no idea that this actually happened. And there was only one reporter, only one report on this news story. The website, the Billings Gazette. Now, I've done reports before on Billings, Montana. They have really high radiation issues there. And it's probably because of all the radioactive fracking that's going on. That's just my guess. Well, it's a reporter from Maria Hall. So she's the only reporter on the story. You won't find this on the Montana official website. We're supposed to show all the incidents. You see about a few miles down, they have a construction site. But here is where the incident happened. Just to give you perspective exactly where this happened here. So this truck was heading down this road here, and there's a little couple warning sign here, warning sign there, but there's no lights here to warn them. There's usually some type of closure that goes down when a train's coming through, but that's not found on this road here. So that's why the county or the state or whoever is going to be partially responsible for this unless they find drugs in the kid's system, which gets me wondering why is 18 year olds hauling around nuclear waste you shouldn't be hauling around any nuclear waste period you have 18 year olds who could still be in high school hauling around nuclear waste it's ridiculous does his parents know what he kind of work is he getting into so unless they find drugs in this case system his probably parents are probably going to win some type of lawsuit i imagine and that's why I'm guessing probably why you won't find this incident report on the official website when they're reporting everything else. The area they were traveling southbound and what I found even more interesting is when you go down the rabbit hole where this road takes you, it takes you to this place called Glendive, Montana. They have a dump here where they send nuclear waste to. And look where it is. It's right on the Yellowstone River. So you keep digging further and it gets worse when you figure out what's going on. So this is on the North Dakota, Montana. There's the train tracks there. So the nuclear waste was dumped here. There's a creek over here. So it likely will, some of it will flow into a creek. I imagine some of this will end up here and then the farmers will be growing it into their food. The box of the truck separated from the cab landing in a ditch nearby. The occupant's cab and frame of the truck were also found in the ditch. The 18 year old driver and the 21 year old passenger were dead when officials arrived on the scene. Occupants in the train were not injured. The truck was believed to be transporting radioactive filters often used in oil fields to a nearby dump site. The truck was owned by Al Inc., a freight shipping company located in Culberston. The filters were dumped all along the tracks after the collision occurred. Moon said that the filters pose a radioactive hazard. According to Moon, there are no traffic lights at the train track intersections. The victims' bodies were transported to a nearby funeral home. The Roosevelt County Sheriff's Office, Al Inc., responded to the scene. A hazmat contractor company from North Dakota will clean up the radioactive material. Yeah, good luck with that. I believe this truck was headed to Glendive, Montana, that has a permit for nuclear waste. So I also did some more digging and found out that Montana is pretty lax 
on letting nuclear waste being dumped in various places. If you have the money, you can get a permit, $150,000 permit. You got the money, you can do whatever the hell you want. This is the environmental quality the department shall assess to applicants for hazardous waste management permit. A maximum fee of $150,000 payable as follows. A non-refundable $50,000 due when the applicant files for a permit. 